Hi, I'm Midnight Mule. Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. In this video, I'm going to look at my team, how I did for game week four and what I'm going to be doing for game week five. As you can see, I had a 5-3-2 formation. I like to aim for 60 points a week. That means each player on average has to get five points. At the back, Edison with one, Trent with 17, James with seven, Robertson with nine, Cancelo with one, Perisic with six. So the six guys at the back averaged more than five each. Middle of the park, I had Martinelli with two, Diaz with 14 and Saka with five. So again, they averaged more than five each. And up front, Haaland, who had to get double points, had to get 10 because he's captain, but he actually got 34. And then Jesus, who got one. So overall, I'm obviously happy with that. Um, I've not got Salah, as you can see. The reason I've only got one premium is so that the rest of my players can all be good players and I can have decent players on the bench. I'm aware that's not the way most people like to play and that's fine, but this is the way I like to play. On my bench I had Ward, Tony De Silva and Lavia. Their best score was two. If you saw my video last week you'd see I was umming and ahhing between Perisic and Tony and at the time of the video last week I was favouring Tony slightly, but even though the predicted scores were putting Tony ahead of Perisic. I had to play Perisic because I'd have been too annoyed with myself if I'd left him on the bench and he'd outscored Tony. So we got 97 points for game week four, which was in the top 140,000 for the game week. Overall, I'm just outside the top 7%. The transfer. Now, I didn't want to make a transfer. I had two free transfers. I was very happy with my team. So I was just going to burn a transfer and just lose it. However, Saka, who I like and I want to keep, he's already lost 0.1 million and it looked like he may be going down again before the next game week. So rather than lose money, I decided to move sideways and go for Odegaard. Personally, I'm expecting Saka to outscore Odegaard over the coming weeks and months and the rest of the season. But money is really important and I didn't want to be losing more. And for every player you have that goes down 0.1, from what you bought them you need another player to go up 0.2 to make up the difference and so i i just had to move sideways obviously i've got the option to go back in a few weeks if saka starts looking like he's going to go on the way up again so this is my team going to game week five exactly the same as game week four except i've got odegaard instead of saka harlan's still captain and jesus is still vice captain i'm not worried that harlan might not play and if he comes on just the last 10 minutes that's fine he can still get a goal or two and the bench is the same. Ward, Tony, De Silva, Lavia. So thank you for indulging me, letting me show you my team for the week, how I did and how I'm setting up for game week five. I hope you found that a little bit interesting. Bye.